Hello everybody, this is Marjorie Radzinski from Arlington Entrepreneurs. I'm your Community Manager and this is a video in our series on cross-posting which is creating one post on Arlington Entrepreneurs and sharing it across multiple social networks. What if you'd like to share your entire profile page with Twitter or Facebook or some other social networks? You can do that too and I'm going to show you how. If you look under your profile picture uh, in this column here you'll notice three options. This one here says share, beneath it says share on Twitter and beneath that says share on Facebook. This will create a link to your home page to your profile page on Arlington Entrepreneurs so that people can see you and find a little bit more about you uh, this way. This might be very helpful if, for example, you don't really have a, a home page or you don't really have a website or you have a website that's fairly static, but you would like to use Arlington Entrepreneurs as a way of updating your status and letting other people on other social networks know what you're doing. So let's try a couple of these. I'll just walk you through them. This one here is just called Share. And this will take you to any number of different social networks and social bookmarking sets. Uh, Delicious is a social bookmarking uh, page. Um, Stumble Upon is something like that. It's people who are a part of a user community. They find a site that they really like and they say, I'm going to submit this to Stumble Upon. I stumbled upon it and wanted to share it. And Dig is something uh, similar to that. Of course you all know what MySpace is and even though it's somewhat redundant they also do that with Twitter and with Facebook here. So you can do that. You can uh, share your entire page with people uh, on these various other services. If you wanted to go a little deeper in that you can just click on more options on the bottom and you'll have an option to share your home page with uh, people in your address book uh, whether it's a desktop address book or an online address book. But there are good ways that you can get that page around to your friends and to your colleagues so they, they can see what who you are and what you're up to. If you want to just do a quickie share on Twitter, uh, you can do that too without having to go through all that uh, all the trouble with the share button. And if you do that, it will automatically post to Twitter. Uh, in this case, it says, checking out Margie Radzinski's profile on Arlington Entrepreneurs. And then there's a link to my homepage site. I'm just going to cancel that. The same thing on Facebook. You'll notice the interface is a little bit different. Uh, and if you're familiar with Facebook, that looks pretty familiar. You just can write something here on your wall as an introduction and let people go to your profile page from your page on Facebook. We're going to skip that. But here are now a few more ways that you can uh, spread yourself around other networks and let other people know who you are. Of course, it uh, therefore stands to reason that you should be keeping your profile page up to date, including and especially a picture, so that people can see who you are. Uh, and also, just more information about you and your business. Don't be afraid to go in there every now and again and edit and update this information. Uh, so that people will know who you are and what you have to offer. So anyway, until later, this is Margie Radzinski from Arlington Entrepreneurs. Thanks for watching.